Welcome to the Taki School Training. And we're going to start with centering, taking a deep breath in, and lightly touching our fingers together as we breathe out. So you're going to breathe in, touch your fingers, and breathe out. One more time. Breathing in and out. So we're going to ground, connect ourselves to the elements, to our inner being. Connecting our inner being to the outer world and the outer world to our inner world. Harmonizing these into one with our breath. Rooting in our feet. All right, so let's begin with our nine breaths. Breathing in. And stretching and breathing out. So we do this movement three times, uniting heaven and earth. Then we bring the right leg in. And we call this opening the lotus flower. Breathing in and breathing out. Okay, one more time. Separating the legs, breathing out, breathe in, out. Soften the knees, go onto your toes, coming up, and back down. Okay, two more times. Uplifting and grounding. So you're going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. And breathe out. Okay, let us begin. So we're going to just start with some bouncing, loosening up the limbs, the shoulder, the clavicle, shaking out the body for a few moments. Just connecting with your breath. Start rotating the shoulders backwards and also forward. We're still maintaining our bouncing, rotating the shoulders back and forward. And let's tap in the shoulders, the chest. And the same to the other side. And let's tap in now as we're rotating the torso. Just breathing deeply in and out. We're rotating the arms backwards. Across the body. So we're going to bend the elbow and stretch, bend and stretch, rotate, unlocking the waist and the hips. Yeah, it's two or three times in this change direction, rocking to the side and then into the infinity movement. Again, just focusing on loosening the hips, change direction. And then to just rotate in, rocking to the side, the body. All right, I think that's good enough. Just stretch and open up the whole front line and the back line. So you're going to breathe in. Stretching and then breathing out as you lower. Breathe in as you come up. And stretch as you're breathing in. 
and then breathe out as you're lowering your body. And out. Breathing in here and then out. Take a deep breath in and out. Breathing in and then out. Just rotating the arms backwards and then forward. So forward is out, breathing in and then out. Try and rotate the arms as much as you can and then rotate the arms down, thumb down arm facing back as much as you can and stretching the brachial plexus really all this is unwinding the fascia connecting and integrating with your fascial and connective tissue so you just stretch and open and you can look in the direction that you're stretching let's say left arm here the palm that's up you can look towards and then you're going to the center all right, let's unlock the waist and center. So we're going to go into waving hands in the cloud. Waving hands in the clouds is an iconic Tai Chi movement for the sake of healing the body it allows the energy to flow from the heart along to the arms it allows the energy to travel up the legs and through the spine twisting and rotating it loosens the shoulders and the hips and once you integrate your breath with your hip movement then the movement becomes really internal and energetic. Where from a simple movement like this, you can generate a lot of internal chi, a lot of heat energy. This is just a few of the movements. What we do call this taming, tiger, coiling, dragon these type of movements where we're really connecting with our inner being so here we are just stepping and moving and doing the same waving hands in the cloud allowing our waist and our body to rotate through the whole motion but just putting our legs just in different positions and here I just show there's a variety of options that you can do Feel free to move. And we're just going to center. Good. All right, so into our horse riding stance. Connecting with our breath, just grounding and centering ourselves. So we're going to go through some static postures. Start with holding the ball, holding a balloon. So you are thinking at the space between your arms. is a hollow space, empty, where you are firm in your legs. Okay, so we're going to move into the Qigong, which is to draw energy from your surroundings into your being. With this posture we're going to go through, you start with lowering your left and raising your right arm, 
curling your arm all the way back yeah so your hands are open and your fingers are spread and separated curling your palm backwards straightening the arm lengthening it and in that posture there you're just holding pelvic floor gently breathing into your lower dantian expanding your ribs and maintaining this natural alignment that you've just created here energizing this whole line front and back arm line the fascia which is directly connected to your heart to your lungs opening up this area and bringing in more chi and blood allowing the blood to circulate so we're going to lower the arm bring it to the center holding the ball and we're going to lower the right and raise the left same we're going to spiral our hand back stretch and open up the chest open the hands the fingers the thumb everything is expanded and open ground in your stance Connect with your breath. Release all your worries, your concerns. Empty your mind. Become present in the moment you are in. Feel the tissues expand as you breathe. Lower your shoulder. Activate your rhomboids by connecting your scapula at the back. Stimulate your teres major, minor, your lactissimus, dorsi, trapezius, all these are active. And breathe. Deep and long breaths. I think we got this one here. So lower the arm, raise it up, holding the ball. Now, the last one we're going to do of our static posture training. You know, these are like isometric contractions. They create piezoelectricity, these kind of postures, in the bone, ligament tendon, fascia, or in the muscle. Therefore, this creates voltage and electricity from the muscles being compressed, the fascia and the bone being compressed and squeezed. We are also transforming voltage directly from light. We receive light energy, whether it be the stars, or the sun. And we transform this into voltage and electricity. Right now, we have roots descending beneath our feet. very powerful technique to practice. Open up both of your hands, spread your fingers, open up your arm, your chest, lengthen your spine, and breathe. Well now bring your arm back to the center, holding the ball. It's going to stretch 
So with the fingers still spread apart, the thumb spread open, the palm, you're gonna stretch your palm back and stretch your arm forward. It's rotating at the shoulder. Breathing in and then breathing out. Now, the next move we're going to do body stretch all the way up open up your chest tuck your pelvis under and then breathe out so keep the integration in your body connections the front and the back arm lines opening up that brachial plexus sit down and stretch breathing out breathing in and then breathing out. Well done. Just loosening up the body after such a, a posture, really important to do. It's going to lower our being, bring ourselves to our center. Let's be centering, giving thanks and gratitude. So let's finish up with our nine breaths. So we're breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out, breathing in, and breathing out. Then we bring the right leg in. Breathing in, and breathing out. Okay, one more time. Separating the legs, breathing out, breathe in, out, soften the knees, go onto your toes, coming up, and back down. Okay, two more times. Well done for getting involved to the end in our Taki training. 